Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Hexes Force. Let's head on to the sealed library. What would monsters want with this place anyway? Or are they looking for a book or something? I would think they would have more interesting things to do, like murdering people. Well, he's too busy murdering people. Wow. Probably more books than our entire side of the world, huh? Well, let's take a look around. Might as well start at the beginning. You find something already? <laughs> well, that was fast. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was just jacking with you. <laughs> ha ha. Le who the her? Oh. Oh, well, okay. Well, at least that makes it easy for us. Oh. But yeah, newer books probably, uh wouldn't have what we're looking for. Whoa! Stay away from me, man. Okay, well, we got another enemy here. I don't know if they're new, but... Well, I'll show them again. Why not? We need a little action today. Bring it on! Bring it on! Okay, now these guys are plant-type enemies. Yeah, I did meet up with them before. I remember talking about this, but now we can use Lumberjack on them. Yeah, look at that damage. Yeah, really nice. So, let's see, we could kill them with that, or we could use the Igneous Orb. Um, let's use the Igneous Orb. Let's get it out of the way. Yeah! Got it. Probably didn't have to do that, but uh, they are weak to fire. So. Now, one thing you can win from these guys is a Mantis Wing. It's a rare drop, but it's not really that rare. You should be able to win one just incidentally as you go through this area. When you do that, though, we go to Feet, we can make the Battle Boots. And I already won one off screen, uh, incidentally, in a battle there. So, let's go do that. Uh, let's see. I also want to try and win two Majin Cloths from uh, Saloma, another enemy around here. So if I meet up with them, I will try to do that. Let's see. But yeah, we're going to need more Mantis Wings to create, craft some armor there and all that other good stuff. So, okay. So with the Battle Boots, I want to give those to Greek there because he could use the help there. So yeah, that'll really help out his agility. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't go over my setup here. Uh, I got the speed trinket that we picked up earlier. I gave it to Greek because he could use the agility boost there. Uh, Irene, well, you don't need the Igneous Orb anymore. And yeah, just make sure you got an Igneous Orb and an Arrow Orb, and that should be pretty good. Let's uh, make a Blaze King with that old Igneous Orb then. And then I'm just going to convert that. There we go. Uh, when you're crafting something like that, by the way, uh, the game will take preference over items you don't have equipped. So don't worry about that. Ah, speaking of Saloma, here's the enemy I'm looking for. Let's see if I can't win the item I want from him. Uh, you know what, let's let Greek, uh... Well, okay, I guess I might as well. Okay. But, uh, Greek should be able to take care of these guys pretty well. Uh, now let's see, Saloma is, uh, let's see... I think it's strong against Earth, but I'm going to use my burst attack anyway, because it'll hit the two in the back. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, that worked out pretty well. Oh, nuts. What do I do with them? Uh, oh, I gotta kill them with anything but Earth? Ugh. Yeah, in order to get the Majin Claws, you have to kill them with anything except that. Ugh. Okay, well, we got another one up there, so maybe... or not. Okay, let's try this one again, then. Okay, move on. Fast forward! Okay, well, we got uh, those La Places again. So, Holy will be pretty good against them. 
Okay, Greek, let's try that one again. Let's use Aerial Cleave this time. Or, you know what? We probably don't need to use that. Let's use Hellbound. Or, yeah. It's basically a weaker Aerial Cleave, but it costs less. And we probably don't need something that powerful. So, probably one-shot that guy. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's try that one again. See if I can get one of those Majin Claws. There we go. So, yeah, that's how you do it. I'm probably going to run into another one along the way. I need two of them for the Storm Shoes that I want to craft. Okay, well, let's start taking a look around for some treasure. Treasure! There we go. And Broken Isle. Awesome. Might be useful for some crafting later. Now, you might have noticed in this area, we got these wooden planks up above there. That's how you get around in this place. Seems like kind of an odd organization system for your library, but well, whatever works for you guys. So, glowing liquids, those can be nice. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's go over here. Now, if you go up there, that'll take you to the back area, but we don't want to go there just yet. Let's go down here. Scan the area. Ha! And you get cursed bones, which we'll also need for crafting uh, beast shoes later on. I don't know if I can do that already. I don't think I can yet. Uh, no. I, mean, I still need another tiger skin. Unfortunately, I only won a single one of those from uh, Force Sight earlier. Okay, so anyway, let's uh, head on down to the save point there first. Because, uh, well, there's quite a few items I want to win from the enemies around here. In fixed encounters. Okay, took care of those guys. Um, let's save here first. Just in case I don't win the rare drops that I want. Again, they're not ultra rare, just... Yeah. I don't know what other word to use for them other than rare drops, even though they're not really rare. But, well, anyway. Okay, so, let's see. We want to go to the force site. So, let's uh, purify this one. For boss time! Got a new enemy there. Oh, or, er, new enemies. Uh, Femur and Zepar. Zepar has the rare drop I want. So let's see, we can use that on him, or I can try to kill that guy with uh, my Igneous Orb. Uh, you know what, let's give that a try. Yeah! Got him. Alright. Uh, let's see now. Let's just go with a good, uh, let's just use Thunderstruck. Whatever, he's not weak to that, but he is weak to light. Uh, let's see, we got that. Let's. Oh, I can't use Aerial Cleave. Okay, Hellbound. Okay, Irene, it's up to you. Finish him! Yeah! Got him. But anyway, if you're lucky enough, you can win... Nothing. Okay. Well, you can get a Demon Wing from Zeppar there, so I'm gonna reload my save file until I get it from him, because uh, it is a really good item to have, and they're otherwise very difficult to acquire. So I'm going to take care of that, and I'll be right back. Okay, there it is. Took me uh, six tries to get that demon wing there, but it's totally worth it. Uh, not so much that it's really that rare. Actually, I usually get it a little quicker than that. But uh, the enemy Zeppar is pretty hard to find otherwise. I don't mind farming rare drops as long as the enemy is re easily repeatable to encounter. Which, in random encounters, or well, they're not exactly random, but you know what I mean. Um, they're otherwise... You know, you can't guarantee that you're going to get the monster you want, even with the right enemy sprite there. But anyway, we get an energy mist, so we want to uh, take care of that. And I'm going to save again, just so I don't risk losing that thing. Let's see what else we got. Okay. So we got that. Yeah, we want to use the Demon Wing to craft a Fastile later on, which, uh, I mean, I already got one from the achievement, but, uh, yeah, I'm pretending that, you know, I don't have that yet right now. Okay, so, let's see. We want to go... Oh, no, you know what? We can do it right here. Okay, let's, uh, scan here. Aha! 
And there's another enemy here. Or, er, well, okay, sorry. Spoilers, there's an enemy in the book. For boss time! Can we win? What do you mean you're surprised by a monster hiding inside a book? That shouldn't be that surprising to you viewers. This is a JRPG, what did you expect? Of course there's monsters hiding in books. But anyway, okay, so this is Draken. One of the nice things about Levant's path is you get access to these guys a lot earlier than on Cecilia's path, and they have really good stuff. But, in order to get the item I want, you have to kill them with anything but a void attack. That means, in this case, Earth Elemental. That's probably your uh, best bet to do that. And if I'm lucky, you can win a Dragon Blood. So, sorry, I got kind of cut off there. I pressed the X button a little too quickly there, but... Yeah, it's not even a rare draft. You just gotta hit kill it with anything but a void attack. And that's it. So, yeah, pretty nice there. Otherwise, relatively difficult to acquire there. So let's see, we want to use that for crafting a Draconic Turban later on. And that's going to be really good. The nice thing about this one is that they give you 50% resistance to fire. And that's probably the most common element that enemies use on you in the game. It's got to be up there. So it'll really help out a lot, and it's got really good defense there. So, yeah. Okay, so now that we're done with that, uh, let's see. We got here. Okay, we got the Dragon Blood. Now we want to climb up here. Oh, yeah, you might have noticed from that battle there, uh, that red little light uh, started glowing there. We got to find three books in the bookshelves like that in order to unlock that door. I mean, you don't have to, but... It would be a good idea. So, let's check this book out. For boss time! Oh, same guy as before. Alright. Uh, well, Irene can take care of him. Diablo! Really, game? Okay. Take him out, Irene. Yeah! Yeah. Wow, that was easy. And, yeah, basically, same thing as before. Want to try and win a demon ring from him. But I didn't get it, so, okay. I'm going to, uh, do that off. Or, wait a minute. Uh, oh, I guess I don't need the demon wing. Okay, never mind, then. Uh, carry on. Yeah, you only need the one demon wing to craft a fast steel there. So I guess you could try fighting both of those foresights. Or not the foresight, the, uh, the foresight and that bookshelf there to try and win one, so you get two chances in one. But, well, there we are, then. Huh? Oh, what's that? I wonder how they got there. I wonder if Cecilia dropped it. Because, well, they, well, as you can probably tell, they've already done everything on their half of the world. So. Hmm? Can you read it? Oh, oh, okay. Be careful, Greek. And what's the worst that could possibly happen? Okay. Huh. That's a weird sentence. Uh oh! Nuts. Oh, you look strong. Okay, well, we gotta take these guys out. A uh, little more powerful than what we've been fighting up to now. Uh, let's see. Oh! You know, I still need to win that thing from the Saloma there. Uh, let's see. Anything but Earth, as I recall. Hopefully that'll work out for us. And let's see, we got that Femur there. Will that work? That'll get the job done. Maybe I should have had her, like, use the arrow orb on the bird in the back there, but... Oh, well. I think Levant can get the job done. Or not. Well, that didn't work out so well. Uh, let's see. We need something that has more accuracy against this guy. So let's use that. Oh, and you can use your most powerful attacks here. Because, uh, well, we got that foresight there. We can just go back after every battle if we really wanted to. Alright, we got the Majin Claws that I wanted. Well, nice job there, Greek. Good. Good idea. 
Witchcraft! Hmm. Yeah, I just want to bash faces in. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> uh, I love Greek. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that probably wouldn't be a good idea. Ha uh ha. -huh. Hmm. Well, we might as well hold on to it. Okay, well, let's keep taking a look around. Let's see, we've got up here an Aurora down. Awesome. And let's see, if you go over here, you can find a harvest. Uh, you can get uh, glowing liquids from them, or you can get fast steel or fast styles from them. So, uh, yeah, um, uh, maybe I should have saved before that. Well, I can undo that. I'll just reload my save file until I uh, get what I want out of there. Um, yeah, I'll do that later. Whatever. Let's go on up here first instead. And grab this treasure. Or the tre treasure can grab us for boss time. Oh, now this guy strong. is a different breed of cat altogether. He is really hard. Yeah, you see, he's surviving our attacks. Actually, this probably should be able to finish him off though. If you don't kill him quickly, he will kill you. Yeah, he's really powerful. You do not want to give him a chance to attack. But anyway, for doing that, we get a dark ring. I wonder which dark ring it is. Because one that is one thing about this game. There's two dark rings. One for the status and one for the element. And it's for the element. So, okay. I'm not even going to bother converting that at this point. I'll worry about that later. But anyway, okay, so we got a monster there. Just want to wait for him to turn around. Or go that way. Oh, and you know what? I almost forgot. Uh, let's see, we can craft those, uh, storm shoes now that we got those Majin Claws, so let's do that. We'll give those, oh, uh, yeah, we'll give those to Irene. I don't think Greek can equip those, can he? Uh, oh, everyone can. What about the battle boots there? Oh. Okay, I must have been thinking of something else, but, uh, yeah, let's give those to Irene there. And head on up here. I thought they were one of those, uh shoes that uh, only women could equip or something. Well, let's see what's going on over here. Hmm. Well, I guess they put all of Greek's books in the back here because uh, no one wanted to read them, or could for that matter. Maybe it would have been a good idea to learn the language or something. Hmm? Well, why? Wouldn't that be, like, really, really useful? Well, they were just, like, burning our villages to the ground and all that stuff. Did you find something? No, I, I don't. I don't think that would be a good idea, Lamont. Don't, don't do it. Hmm. <laughs> Stop messing with us. Oh. Oh. Got them. Those are like Greek letters or something. Ah. Well, yeah, that is true. Ha ha. 
No, you still are, but uh, thanks for the help anyway. Hmm? What did you say? Well, okay. But actually, there's still some more things we can do here. Hmm? What's going on, Greek? Yeah, he's not trying to uh, subdue us or uh, s subject us or subjugate us. That's it. Oh. Uh, brutally murdering people? Well, that didn't work out so well, did it? Well, you know what they say about the road to hell. Well, he just kind of got dragged along, and, well, here you are. Well, I'm only helping them because they'll help me kill more humans. Ah. Yeah, that would be uh, difficult for us to compete with there. But okay. So anyway, yeah. Um, before moving on, um, yeah, let's go back and save because there is another rare drop that I want to get. Or well, it's not a rare drop; it's an element drop, so it's common. So it should be pretty easy for us to get. But just in case, I do want to save here. And yeah, well, there's still a little more for us to do. And I gotta remember to get that fast style from this harvest point here if I can. But uh, I need to fight five battles for it to uh, respawn. So let's do that. You go up here. Ah. Blinded by the light. For boss time. Okay, now what we want to do here is we want to kill this guy with anything except light or fire, which is what it's weak to, unfortunately for us. So uh, let's use whatever our most powerful stuff is that isn't an element. Just use a void elemental attack. Probably your best bet there. Uh, let's see. I could use... Oh, wait. No, not fire. Right. Um, okay, let's go with Cadenswa. Hmm, that didn't seem to work too well. Um, you know what? Just use your Blitz Assault. Whatever. Finish him. He's got a lot of HP. So, oh, maybe not a lot, but... Come on! Yeah, look at that damage! Good job, Levant. And did I get it? Yes! We got the Pelvic Fragment. So yeah, just kill it with anything but Light or Fire, and you'll get the Element Drop from it. So yeah, pretty common. You can tell that I am is a rare drop by uh, the color of the text there. Uh, well, not here, but like in battle, you could get uh, it would look it would have green text like that. If it's white text, it's a common drop or at least an element drop. So okay, we got uh, a couple more Majin claws. Uh, there we are. So let's see, that's what three or. Yeah, that's three battles, I think. So, but we got more battles coming up. Okay, so. Now, if you go up the middle path here. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, you go up here. But there's nothing we can do here. Look on the mini-map there. It looks like there's something back there, but we can't get in there. Well, you want to know what's behind that door? You'll have to go to Cecilia's path, because uh, we can't do anything with that. So, okay, uh, let's see, let's go up here, let's see, I think I'm going in the right direction, uh, okay, yeah, let's go up here, okay, there we go, now I know where I'm going, 
Okay, I think there's another one to the left there. Good. Let's go over here. We get a purifying orb. And you could convert that into force points. I'm never going to use it. Okay, now here we got another vessel chest. I'm just going to open it now. Because you get an energy mist for that. All right. Uh, that's if the vessel is tilting towards destruction. Uh, like I said, most of those chests have better stuff if it's... Uh, the vessel is tilting towards creation, but not this one. Uh, if it's neutral, you'll get uh, 20 black lapis, and if it's uh, creation, you'll get 20 white lapis. So, but I figured, now nah, let's just go for the energy miss and be done with it, because black and white lapises are relatively easy to come by. Let me see, do I have any rare drops coming up? Um, no, no, I don't think so. I think we should be pretty good. Yeah, that's all the rare draps that I want to get from this area. Actually, I think only the one was the rare drap. Well, there was a mantis wing too, but I already had that. So, But anyway, if you fought all those monsters in the books, you can go back here now. Let's see over here. Ooh, an Arnon gem. Nice. Yeah, that's worth a lot of force points. Uh, those can also be used for crafting some really good equipment later on, but the force points are just so worth it right now. They're so much more worth it. And I want to get the final tech. Earthquake! Yeah, it's really nice. Hits all enemies, earth elemental damage, and it's on a weapon that is really, really powerful. So, yeah, it's really nice. It'll make killing force eaters child's play. Let's see, if we go up here... Let's see, do I want to get anything specific from here? No, okay. So you do that, you get Irispira. Uh, you can get, um, uh, also get Stardust or Energy Mist from it, or if you have, uh, an item called the Discerning Specs, which you'll get later on in the game, uh, you can get Arnon Gems from them too. But those are, those Energy Crystals are all pretty rare, or Force Crystals, so yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, you know what, first things first, let's go over here. Um... Hmm. Now this chest, if you put some force points into it, let's see what we get out of it. We get two glowing liquids. All right. If you choose just to open it, you'll end up fighting a mimic, and you'll get ten healing herbs instead. Uh, neither is really that critical, so I'm not really worried about it. But here we get the SNS recipe, which is really nice. Uh, you're definitely going to want that, so that way uh, you can cook some stuff with it. Very useful. And we get a nylon ester. All right. See, I think that's just about all the treasures there, but let's check out that black smoke thing. Or the smoking book or whatever it is. Okay, well, yeah, like I said, uh, this, there's, this is the only uh, thing left there, but uh, yeah, nothing we can do with that for now. Although we will be able to do stuff with it on the bond's path here. Not so much on Cecilia's path there. I mean, you can. But it's a lot later in the game. So some things you can do earlier on this path. Some things you can only do later. Okay, well, now that I've fought enough battles, let's see if I can't uh, get the item I want from that harvest point there, if I can. Let's uh, save here, just in case, if I need to respawn it. Okay, let's go down here. And... Yes! I got the fast dials. I don't have to do any more editing on this episode. All right. So yeah, you use up, you get those. That'll be useful for crafting, uh, well, fast steel later on. So fast style, fast steel. Yeah, they kind of screw with you like that, but oh well. But what can Elda tell us about the book that we found here at the sealed library? Find out next time on Let's Play Hexes Force. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.